everybody, this is sort of an impromptu video. My regular Sunday video will be up uh, as usual. I just decided to pop in here to uh, give you a few news and let you know about a couple of things. The first thing which is the most exciting is that after three plus years on YouTube, I finally got my first AdSense payment. What this means is that a couple of cents have been trickling down into my AdSense account uh, regarding the, the ads on my videos whenever you don't click out of them. And I finally got my first payment and it is of 72 euros and 96 cents. Celebratory dance. Now, what do I want to do with this money? I want to include you in the decision process because I've always wanted to put the money that, that I could potentially earn from YouTube and my blogs and whatever onto the actual channel and since you make that possible uh, it's only fair that you get to have a share in the decision making process and what I want to do is I want to do a video in which I buy one product or several products you will tell me and I review it or uh, do a look for you, whatever it is. And I want you to tell me what would be the best thing um, to splurge on with that amount. So think of ideas like that product that you've been eyeing, but it's so stupidly expensive, up, up to 72 euros, please. Uh, <laughs> that you really are on the fence about and you haven't risked buying it so you want me to review it for you because you think that would help uh, to make that decision or I don't know creating sort of a beginner's makeup kit or an add-on kit of colors that I would find interesting for you to have I don't know a skincare sort of big splurge do know it's up to you so so fill those comments down below with suggestions and let me know what you would like to see with that money if you see a comment that just hits it on the nail just put a thumbs up on it so that I know and you can upvote uh, other people's comments so that I either pick the most voted or I go through all the comments and I just pick and choose the one that I would find more fun to do uh, and more interesting so we'll see we'll see it's up to you so show me with suggestions I want to include you in this and thank you again for making it possible and the other thing is don't forget that um, I'm restricted to uh, Sephora that is similar to the Spanish and uh, French Sephora's if you want to browse their websites we kind of have almost all the same products uh, we don't have a Portuguese Sephora site that provides any useful information so and the other um, stores that I have access to are online stores uh, like Beauty Bay, Cup Beauty, Look Fantastic, Feel Unique so uh, keep in mind that I don't have access to the US Sephora for instance so yeah I'm sad about that too. That's the first announcement Second announcement is uh, from February 20th, I think, onwards, I won't be able to monetize my videos. So what just happened won't happen again unless I meet some, some new rules that YouTube has put out. They have new rules that just, they say that you have to have, I don't know how many hours of views per month or how many subscribers, there's a minimum uh, from which um, you can then mon monetize your videos and I don't meet their requirements, let's say. I find that really, really unfair uh, and um, I think this is only going to add on to the monopoly of the big YouTubers so they will be able to monetize their videos and it's okay and they make a lot of money from that um, not only that but uh, that's an, a whole other video 
uh, but the smaller YouTubers like me or even people who have been able to make a bit of a living out of monetizing their videos, it's going to be harder and for people like me that are below that threshold, it's just many, I think many content creators that are really small like me, they will just give up and I think that's just sad. Um, making a YouTube video really takes quite an investment both in time and in money, especially beauty videos are expensive. I need to buy stuff to play with it, to review it and do tutorials for you uh, or else I would just be using the same things over and over again and you know that um, this community is flooded with new products every single day and most people go for the up and coming so it's to keep afloat you have to be a little bit with the new trends and trying out new products and that takes some money, <laughs> some investment and um, as I've always said my main goal with this channel is not to make a living as a YouTuber is not to give up my day job. I love my day job. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with how things are. Uh, but yeah, my main goal, aside from creating this little community of people who share their experiences and are quite close, so in that sense, I really like having a small channel. I wouldn't mind it to be a bit bigger, but you know what I mean. Other than that, um, my main financial goal would be to break even. So to get from my channel and from my blogs the revenue I need to buy new things, maybe buy some more equipment, you know, things like that, to reinvest, always reinvest on the channel. That's what, what I would like to happen. I don't know if it will ever happen. I can afford right now to keep on doing one video per week and if it grows, better, if it doesn't, boohoo, uh, but um, I'm a bit fearful for smaller YouTubers like me and this, what I'm about to say is not necessarily for me, it's for any small YouTuber that you really like. Uh, we don't get the spotlight, uh, we don't show up on your suggestions list on YouTube, the highlights um, list on YouTube, uh, on YouTube, uh, that's when the algorithms go into work and the most viewed videos just come into your box and are shown as suggestions within the range of interest that you may have. So you don't get a lot of spotlight. And um, you can do something to change it. The first thing is give us your time. So um, try to find smaller YouTubers that you really love, of course, and uh, try to give them your time, watch their videos and uh, take your time to watch the video till the end because as I said the algorithm has changed so the amount of time you spend watching a video really does count and maybe prioritize the smaller YouTubers before you watch that big YouTuber video that you will eventually of course watch but just reserve a little bit of your time for smaller YouTubers maybe, that's something that can be done. You can also, if you find a YouTuber that you really love, binge watch several of their videos so that you can help with that um, view list or view time list uh, to bulk it up. That helps a lot. If they are monetized, don't click away from the ad. I mean, if the ad is excruciatingly long, just click away. But if you see that skip ad button, but below it, it says the ad has 20 seconds, give them those 20 seconds. It uh, transfers to about a couple of cents or not even that um, every time you watch uh, the, the ad till the end. If it's a three minute ad, just never mind, click away. If you really like a YouTuber, support them by being there, showing up on their comments, um, giving just a thumbs up and uh, giving them suggestions, constructive criticism, everything coming from a kind heart and from a good place. I think it can have a space on YouTube and any sp social media. Another thing that you can do and I've asked you to do for me is to share the channels 
um, either on your social media if you're into it, but uh, I don't even go that far because that's a bit of a spam, isn't it? But if you have a couple of friends that have the same interests as you, you can say, look, I found this little channel about knitting that I really love, give it a go. Uh, or about beauty, this beauty blogger has the same skin concerns as you, maybe this will help you. So spread the love and share the channels and keep this moving flow so that um, they don't disappear because sometimes a kind comment, um, a, a thumbs up or a little bump in the views will just give us a new life and just stimulate us to continue despite not making a living out of this. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. So as usual, if you like this video, thumb it up. If you like me and my content, subscribe, go through my old videos, see if, you, if you're interested in it. And if you really do like me, share my videos and share the world that I'm here. Uh, I will be here every Sunday as far as I can. So keep your eyes peeled and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye!